Hi, this is Chris at The Wandering Bull. Today we're going to talk about wrapping a porcupine roach. So, when you buy one from us, this is how it will come. Give you some paperwork with some basic instructions. I'll show you how we unwrap them. So they'll come with an ace bandage. Nice little Lexan tube. And that's our standard roach. This is white, right here with a white base, 18 inches. You start, insert the, the, the tube into that roach. I like to hold the hair, hair tight with my left hand. Take my wrap in my right, hold it over. So if you twist the hair improperly and wrap it like that, when you unwrap it, it will look like that. So I want to keep that hair nice and smooth. Keep that ace bandage tight. And we'll talk about this roach here. This is my roach I made a number of years ago. Roach has exceptionally long hair, variety of colors, variety of colors on the outside, my yarn base. This is the tie under my chin. So this is the, the bat I use. I've rounded that top. If you use a regular bat that's still rounded at the top, it makes your base funny. Um, so I've cut it on that angle, put a nail on the top, and I put a nail, oh, 10 inches down. That nail is going to hold the roach from twisting when I wrap it. So I'm going to insert that guy. Lay that here nice and flat. Now I'm going to push that base into where that nail was. And now I'm just going to hold all that here nice. So when that front piece of red, if that was wrapped like that, when you unwrap it, it will look like that. So I want to hold it all nice and even in my left hand. Take my ace bandage in my right. And still continue to hold that hair with the left hand. Right to the end. So it's important to keep the roach wrapped, otherwise the humidity affects the hair and the hair is all going to droop, hang down. You want it nice and firm. Um, here's some other examples of roaches that I have, and I'll show you the sticks. This little teardrop roach, a yarn base, nice black hair, green inside. That is looks like an old table leg. This is how it came to me. Fits in there nicely. Fits that roach very well. Have a little round roach that I use this PVC tube. Fits right on the inside. And fold that down to wrap. Here's another hair base. Well, here is a hair base roach. This is a turkey beard roach. The black is turkey beard. The red is deer hair. You can see it that side. So there's my um, seated dowel with the pin in the top. The pin sits in the hole. Bend that guy down and give it a wrap. This just came in the shop. So great vintage rope, probably roach, probably 1950s, 1960s, just due to the color. So it had this. And the same process. So, and you need your base to, um, the dowel to extend past that hair. 
which that almost does, a little short. Here's another hair base roach, green horse hair, yellow porcupine hair. Um, they refer to that as blonde. And here's my doll. We'll slide that guy in. There's no pin on that one. And I would give that a wrap as well. Two other examples of roaches, nice long roaches. That is what we refer to as a snipped hair base roach. So it's got a red hair base, and I'll turn it over, you can see the knots. All the knots from tying the hair, they snip that red. The yellow is still full length, and the porcupine hair. And there's how, there's the, that nice curve to hold that roach in place, to keep the, the hair formed properly. And here's the last one, another hair base roach. Um, this one's white deer hair. You can see it on this side. And here's the dowel that came in on this. Pretty plain, nail on the top, no nail halfway down. Fits in nicely. So, hopefully this has been helpful. Um, Chris at the Wandering Bowl. We have roaches for sale. They're 16 inches, 18 inches. We have them in red, white. And we can do some custom work on roaches, but it takes a little bit of time for our maker to do that. Um, so if you have any questions, give us a call. Jump on the website. Thanks for watching.